I am Professor Abraham Ogu, Rector of KIST. We have two very distinguished uh, uh, personalities here, uh, Mr. Simon Holzman and Mr. Mark Holzman. Mr. Mark Holzman is the Vice Chairman of Barclays Capital and Mr. Simon Holzman is a very prominent U.S. businessman and we feel very honored and privileged that uh, Mr. Simo Holzman has come to talk to the KISS community today about entrepreneurship. They are both distinguished businessmen visiting Rwanda and looking at the possibilities of investment, but they are also keen to see what is happening in the university sector in terms of capacity building, in terms of manpower building. And since KISS has taken on that paradigm shift of going from creating job seekers uh, to job creators, uh, we have invited this very distinguished uh, uh, gentleman uh, from the U.S. to come and address the KISS community and their colleague, Dr. Glenn Baker. So I would allow uh, Mr. Mark Holzman to tell you a, a bit about the visit and Mr. Simon Holzman, who has just addressed the KISS community, to also tell you about the visit. Mr. Mark Holzman. Well, it's a pleasure to be here in Rwanda today. Thanks to the inspirational leadership and vision of President Kagame. Rwanda under the Kagame administration, investors like us are flocking to Rwanda to take advantage of the economic growth and the rebuilding of this country. Uh, uh, I'm so impressed with KIST, with the, the rector's agenda and the plan that he has set forth for the growth of KIST and the, the student body and the eagerness of the students to learn and the workforce that's very evident here in Rwanda. Uh, my father, Seymour Holtzman, Dr. Glenn Parker, uh, Rajiv Modi, the leader of one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in India, uh, are here this week to explore the development of a large pharmaceutical company in Rwanda, which is likely to be and represent the largest foreign investment to date in Rwanda potentially uh, hundreds of millions of dollars invested in Rwanda uh, and also creating uh, potentially thousands of new jobs in Rwanda, putting to work uh, graduates that are going to uh, be produced here at KIST and uh, creating tremendous opportunities for the future of Rwanda and this vision that President Kagame has set forth. Excuse me. Uh, my name is, is Subar Holtzman. I'm Mark Holtzman's father. And I had the pleasure of being introduced to President Kagame last year in London when he was there to speak. Uh, I will tell you that I was absolutely uh, amazed at uh, the, uh, what has happened to your country. It is such a model, and personally I think that in history will show that President Kagame will be considered next to Nelson Mandela as being one of the most important uh, 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 people in, in, in Africa. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> My son Mark um, uh, asked me to come here, and uh, we, I am so delighted that I listened to him. Uh, as he explained, we're here to explore the possibilities of opening a uh, pharmaceutical uh, plant to manufacture uh, pharmaceuticals and medical supplies, uh, not just for Rwanda but for all of East Africa. Uh, we've been very, very well received by everyone, and so far it looks very, very positive, and uh, I'm ex so excited uh, that uh, I'm sure I'm going to return, and uh, this country is going to be absolutely the great model of Af African democracy.